everyone. I'm Teacher Chris from Rock Rabbit Learning. Um, I'm here to help you today um, as to what to expect for your first online English interview. There are obviously certain things that teachers are required to show. Um, I've worked for a few online companies now and I've passed my interview, happy to say, every time. Um, so some tips from my side is, number one, I'm not doing it, speak slowly and speak clearly. So when you are practicing your class with the demo teacher, um, most of the time they will act as the student. They are very, very, very good at acting as a student who can't speak, um, speak English well. And they are looking for how do you correct their mistakes. Um, so if they make a mistake, they are expecting you to correct it. And there are a few ways you can correct errors in a class. Um, but that will be my next video, how to correct student errors without making them feel embarrassed or shy. Um, so firstly, yes, speak slowly, speak clearly. Don't use big words. Um, obviously, if you are teaching children or even adults in their second language, you can't use big vocabulary words to sound intelligent. They're gonna have no idea what you are saying. Um, so avoid big words. Speak as simply as you can. If you are teaching children, try and use as few words as possible. Don't use long sentences. They're going to look at you like they're not going to know what you're saying. They can hardly understand English. So speak. I mean, obviously, the younger, the, the younger, the age from five, four, five, very, very simple, like basic, basic sentences. Um, they generally will just repeat after you. So um, with, the, with the younger kids, you will, it's, you, they'll parrot learn, um, you will show them something, you will say something, and they will copy you. Um, teaching the older students and teaching the adults is obviously a little bit easier. They can understand basic English. Um, you can have a conversation with them. They can reply to you and not just copy you, which is great. Um, and then... What they're going to look for is TPR. So during your interview, remember to constantly use your hands when you are talking. So if there is something you can say that you can show with your hands, then you must try and use your hands as much as possible. It makes the, um, the learner, it's easier for them to understand what you are saying um, if you're using your hands. And obviously just making it as clear as you possibly can when you are saying uh, your sentence. So TPR, it's total physical response. Use your body, use your motions, use your hands as much as you can. The next thing I would say is just to relax. Um, if you are applying for young students, try and be as energetic as possible. Be friendly, be polite with the interviewer. Um, have a conversation with them, get like chat to them, be chatty. I mean, obviously, if you're in, you interviewing for an online teaching job, there shouldn't be many awkward silent pauses. Um, they need to know that you can handle a class. It's not going to be awkwardly silent. So try and keep the conversation flowing is always a good thing. Um, but again, by not using too much, uh, too many big words or um, too many words in your sentence, and then I would say our oh, dress code is very important. Um, a lot of the schools in the countries are going to expect you to be covered. Uh, the less skin they see, the better. Um, I know with China, they're especially strict, like don't show your shoulders. I think most of them are like that. So just wear something. Um, most of them are, are quite casual. You can wear something comfortable like a jersey. Um, but yes, just cover up your shoulders. Um, that would be the main thing. Make sure you have stable internet as well as a backup power supply. If your internet is um, kicking you out of classes and stuff, it's not going to be good, especially for your interview. Um, if you have a power surge or um, a, a power shortage in your, your property or your complex and the power goes out, um, just always make sure you have a backup power supply if you are considering doing online teaching as a full-time job. 
If you have any questions for me, you can comment below. If you feel maybe I've left something out that's quite important, um, you can also add it in the comments below. I'm quite happy with that. And yeah, so I'm happy to help you with your online teaching journey. It's been the best decision of my life. Um, went from an office job to the flexibility of working from home and teaching kids. I teach kids and adults. And uh, it's the best decision I've ever made, I can honestly say. Um, and they're always looking for teachers. They're looking for good quality teachers. So if you can stick to some of those points that I mentioned today, you should do just fine. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Um, just relax. That's very important. If you're too stressed, um, it will probably make your, your lesson very awkward, <laughs> which they obviously don't want to see too much awkwardness. So try and relax, have fun. You must have fun, especially, if in, especially in a kid's class, even especially in an adult's class. They want to have fun. They're there to learn. Um, I find it's easier to teach adults because they actually want to be in the lesson and they are super excited to learn English and they ask you questions because they, they're so eager to learn. Whereas a lot of the younger students, you can see they don't really want to be there. So you have to really get creative with keeping them interested in your lesson. Um, but I wish you the best of luck and please feel free to uh, leave a comment if you have any questions for me just one more point uh three more points before i go uh lighting is very important remember to have a very well lit classroom um, they must be able to see your face very clearly and watch your mouth as well as your background decorate your background if you are aiming at teaching children put up some posters make it very colorful some of the schools might say um, they don't want too much in the background. Some of the schools might ask you to put more stuff in the background. So maybe start with just one or two things just to show that you have made an effort um, with your background. And smile. So smile is very important. I know after three hours of teaching, my cheeks get very sore. You have got to try and smile the whole time. So you obviously don't come across as too intimidating and scary, um, especially when you are correcting the students, like I mentioned earlier, do it, do it in a very friendly, ha ha ha, joking sort of way, um, so they don't feel embarrassed and shy. So if you can remember some of the tips from today, I'm sure you will do just fine in your interview. And thank you very much for listening to me today. I do hope you found this video useful, or if not, Maybe you'll find one of my other videos useful in your classroom. Um, all the best.